Hello. Phony Doctors, hello. That's a Simpsons reference to kick off the evening, and we are going to play some UMK3. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Here we go. Oh, we're still good. I think the screen might be a little bit off there, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we look alright. Okay. So, I ran through a bunch of characters last night, did about four hours of play. Still quite a bit of characters to go through. Um, we'll start with Luke Kang tonight. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so, Liu Kang. Let's jump right into it. Um, he is... I guess you would say he's pretty much one of those dead mid-tier characters. Um, that you'll, every now and then you'll run across somebody who knows how to use him. It can be very annoying. Um, but against the computer, uh, he's got a whole bunch of things he can do because he's got a lot of I guess you could say moves that take advantage of the weaknesses uh, that are somewhat exclusive, uh, like the low fireball under projectile, but that is a very long battle. You're going to do that all day. But it does make them advance at you, which sets up all kinds of crazy little things you're going to do. He's got very, very little damage off of his pop up combo. Uh, because it goes into double damage protection, one of the few moves that actually does that. <clears throat> Um, so, of course, uh, he has the bicycle kick, uh, which is, um, I mean, the computer typically doesn't block after it, so you can use that to your advantage, especially in the corner. Um, so, let's see if I can set something up here for it. This is a very high jump kick. So, so Sub-Zero being the first character here, not really following the particular rules for the CPU, but we'll just get rid of it. Alright. Try to get some corner combos, corner juggles, get that tiny, tiny damage that he gets for a lot of work. In T, we decided to give him normal damage protection for his pop-up. Uh, which results in quite a bit of damage, but we then met in the middle by giving him double damage protection after, it's like seven hits, I think it is, for the fireball. So if you do a fireball after seven hits, it activates double damage protection. It allows you to get a little bit, so instead of him getting like 45, um, he was getting like 75, so then we brought him in the middle and now he gets around like 60 or something like that. But that you have to get a lot of work for too, which is worth it. Oop. That's a little bit tougher on Striker. For some reason, the Dragon Kick will go over. Okay, wins. Round two, fight. <laughs> so nice, nice punish with the Dragon Kick. It's pretty quick. You'll notice that happens when they're not where they're supposed to be. The dragon kick, it just won't, it just won't happen. Oh, he has one of my favorite fatalities, by the way. I'm going to do that real quick. That is possibly my favorite fatality of all time. Fatality. Round one. <clears throat> Fight. Oops, went for a fireball that should that up. <laughs> So yeah, a lot of people stress over the, the CPU in this game. They're really not that difficult. I mean, I get beat by them sometimes if I'm goofing around too much, but there's some pretty yeah, reliable strategies against them. So a 7-hit combo uh, gets more damage than the, um, his uh, pop-up combo. The reason why they gave him a pop-up combo was so that he could charge the bicycle kick without having to drop it. 
to do combos. Um, I think that might have been one of the reasons why they gave it double damage protection uh, for the pop-up. Don't really think that's necessary anyway, but... No more goofing around, I guess. Fight. And of course, with the bicycle kick, if you release it and then charge it again quickly enough, it will not forget that you're charging the bicycle kick, so you can do that again. <clears throat> and if you counter with the bicycle kick, they can't block the next hit. So if you keep doing the bicycle kick, guess what that means? Yes, it is an infinite, but it is very tricky. Similar to the um, multiple ground pound, as they would call it in MK2, where he could just keep ground pounding at will uh, with jacks. Dude, can, if he does the air fireball too low to the ground, you'll actually bring him back to the ground and hold him in place in the fireball uh, using the recovery for that animation. It's a pretty standard combo again, no damage. Versus the 37 or something. Like that. So you can like jump back, kick, and then uh, go throw the projectile, run in block, dragon kick. That should work every time. If he wants to throw a hat at me, but he doesn't want to right now. Sweeps are your friend. Gets the CPU. Round one, fight. Alright, Ermac. You can do the jabbing against Ermac, and he, uh, like all male ninjas, will not be able to recover. I'm trying to get him to teleport. teleport right in the corner. I have a nice combo that I can get here, but... Oop. Oops. Had the opportunity. Oop. Missed the uppercut. I can drag kick in there, <coughs> but, uh, I wanna... Yeah. Holding down or something like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
could just wait for him to cannibal. Let's try that again. Uh, 56 percent if you'd hit that a discrepancy with the damage of his jump punches as well. <laughs> so, I'm trying to use the fireball to have to come in, but he is being a little bit stubborn right now. Sonya's a little bit awkward to juggle. I probably mentioned that in uh, last night's stream if I played against her. Um, doesn't really have anything too annoying to contend with. Just keep her moving. Oops. Set up those free anti airs. Oh, like some characters, Liu Kang has uh, this um, unused combo, I guess you could say, where um, he leaves out some of the hits of his 7 hit, and you can go right from the elbow, I believe, to the kicks, if, that's, if I remember correctly. Hey, what's up, Nit? Yeah, yeah, you gotta get on here. <laughs> um, I'm running off of a uh, not quite not quite ten year old laptop. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, man, just just grab a laptop, like literally from ten years ago, and it'll work as long as it's a you know not a crappy processor. Yeah, you guys definitely got to get some you and uh, ketchup. Uh, let's try to get some better combos here. I want to get him to the other side, but easier said than done. There we go. Nope, maybe not. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, at least it didn't be down, eh? Yeah, you're just gonna have to get the whole set if you're gonna use um if you're gonna use the Raspberry Pi. It's literally just the full set of everything that it could possibly play. Because it only uses I think like MAME 37 or something like that. No damage. Shit. Whoops. Wins. Round two. Fight. I'm like combo hunting here, but might as well, right? That's the whole point. I could just do the jump, jump kick strategy on him. There you go. Come on, jerk. Jump. Teleport. Oh shit, I don't even remember what his animality is. He can't be sent to me too, right? Ah! Oh, you actually can see the right AV ad in the chat there. Got me. 
Can I do this? combo, which means no pop-up combo, but I can make you jump at me, or do that. Alright, moving right along. Yes, what's up? UMK3+. plus. Uh, let's do some Nightwolf. is pretty much just all this combo right here. Get as many axes as possible. Screw that up. You can get four on the male ninjas. I'm not getting like any forward movement on that. Alright man. Talk to you tomorrow. Jax is a fun Jogger character. Uh, of course, you can uh, make him jump at you and get uh, just a raw axe combos. That was good. That was five. I can't believe I'm missing that one. Oh. Yeah, the combo damage comes up on the wrong side for the start there for some reason. Yeah, this game is, uh, you know, it's what stood the test of time. There's four. Can similar to the tank's dragon kick. Night Wolf wins. Round one. Fight. Shiva, you can do a mid screen infinite on, uh, and of course the corner infinite, which is legit. But the uh, mid screen infinite works on a few, a few characters against CPU since they don't block 
You can just do this all the way across the screen, no problem. I screwed it up, of course. You can also just do axes. Cross up axes, invincibles. Anything you can possibly imagine. It cannot be beaten. Fight! Keep on. I think I'm holding the run button. I'll spare you the screeching sound of his fatality. You can do it against the robots too. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I don't I really didn't think I was holding anything there. I get the clock, I thought I beat him. Try it again without dark combat this time. I really have no idea how I'm accessing because I, I definitely was not. I was not doing anything. I feel like I'm being trolled by Drew here. Like he gave me some uh, haunted uh, version of the game. Round one, fight. Oop. arrow. Fast startup arrow. I always like to point out that it doesn't actually move any faster across the screen, even though it kind of looks like it does. Um, it actually just starts up faster. The juggle character for Nightwolf. Harder, I should say. Can't get any starters on them. So, I'm just gonna kinda make him jump around. Need to do this all day. Just wait for her to teleport kick or do the roll and punch away. Let's take a sweep in there. She won't block it. A little bit late on the axe up cut there, but it's alright. Well done, I told wins. Round one. Fight! Try a different punish after this. There you go. Punch, punch, jump, kick, arrow. Uh, you never really see anybody use it because you never usually see a night wolf against the striker. Actually, no, he can do it against the numbers too. Probably even do it against Kano. Of 
Berserker is another fun axe combo character. Special endurance here. Come on. Ooh, geez. there into that combo is recognizing whether or not any axes are possible once you start dropping it, because it does happen. Uh, especially for someone like me, I don't really play Nightwolf. But, you know, 25 years of combo theory, you should be able to do some of this stuff at least uh, against the CPU. Ah, see there, I thought I had it. <laughs> what up, Te Drusus? Te Drusus. Uh, I got uh, four axes, like, I think maybe two or three times so far. I will right, we'll do one more round with Nightwolf. Um, let's see if I can get four. I'm not holding any buttons. Let's see if we get dark combat. No dark combat. Okay. Oh yeah, if you have a, an updated version, I would love to uh, try that that noob silent. There's four for you. up with Nightwolf, you should probably get two axes, but uh, just want to really maximize those conversions. MK2 was such a like simple like one-hit punish game. Maybe you would see someone do like punch jump kick. This game you really gotta like, you really gotta bust them out. So like right there, I knew there was no way I could get a fourth one. So commit to the last, to the last hit, and finish it. What the hell was that? This is gonna be tough. Um, I've only gotten one, one brutality so far playing this. It was um. I think it was on stream or anything. Um, 
But definitely it was like maybe like an uppercut with, with an explosion of sorts. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, I have no idea what the criteria uh, for brutality is. Alright, let's do... Okay, so I did... God, I did a bunch of characters last night. Yes. Let's do second tour. Oh, shit. I forgot. Let's reset that. Let's start fresh. I definitely need a cheat file for this too, so I can do some combo practice. Sector, choose your destiny. You will never win. Round one, fight! So, Sector is, um, against the CPU, fairly limited. Um, because they don't really fall for his legitimate stuff, um, so you just gotta, you know. There, that was a nice little combo. You don't see too many of those double, double standing kick cor corner combos. Catch that high kick really, really late, so they kind of land on the last active frame. Then you can get the uh, standing low kick. Sometimes it's like second standing high kick. So normally they're. Try spamming missiles, but you know, they'll just keep on running at you. Um, low, what was it? Low, low punch, run run block, or run run, run run block, low punch? Something like that. Now let's see if a relauncher works. Too early. Basic jump back teleport strategy is good. Smart missiles and then a dumb missile. Usually they'll, they'll wind up eating the dumb missile. I learned that um, Shiva, Striker, and Jax, I think, could um, duck the homing missile without moving uh, because the CPU would do it. I was like, well, let's see if I can do it. Too early. Ooh, look at that. He jumped between my kick. There it is. Sector wins. Fatality. Plop, 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 plop. Round one. Fight. Okay. Relaunches on Robot Ninja's CPU is uh, a little bit easier. Let's try that. When people see Sector, they don't usually think relaunch character. But he has one. Jump a little too early. wins. Round two. Fight. Great way to find out where the invisible character is is use that homing missile. If you can get enough homing missiles on the screen, you can get some really nice jumbo combos. What the hell is that? Super smoke wins. Round three. Fight. Boom. Alright. He's getting a little bit a little bit too many hits in there. That's my typical setup for the missile there, is the short hop jump kick after. Ooh, that should have hit. Ooh, look at that! Get stylish there. Not happening. I can't remember what his flame throw one is. Sector wins. Round one. Fight. And of course, if you uh, are frame disadvantage, sometimes you might want to try to see if you can get extra jab before the uh, uh, teleport uppercut. If you get a free punish out of there, it's a good time to check that. Sector. 
High punch, low punch, and low kick. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't have Fight. anything binded, I'm pretty sure.
Colorful combat, nice. <laughs> Tricks yogurt. Not know. I'm like really out of the loop. Get frozen. Well So Jade can be a little bit annoying for Sub-Zero because obviously he can't start any combos on her. Uh, freeze is relatively useless, so you just gotta cheese her out. Jump back, kick, projectile, jump over, jump, punch, freeze, combo. You can also like, punish any of her swoops with uh, the slide. Basically follow up any knockdown with a slide and the computer will not block it. Don't do that against players though because they will block it and you will get hurt. Use his clone to get around projectiles. Don't stand up into the projectile. Sub-Zero's 5-hit combo does more than this 6-hit combo, but not 
when you do a jump starter because the damage protected damage yeah, it's, it's complicated anyway. So. Ooh. Sneaking it in there. Come on. Ooh. What is that fatality? Wins. Better yet, tell me how to do some of these brutalities. Come on. Get the code sheets out, man. back to that if you haven't. Just a little bit. Like, um... No stagger or anything like that, but definitely the lightning needs a uh, CW pushback. Kind of similar to Jade, you just gotta make her jump. Juggle practice. A little harder to juggle too, so. Ooh. 
Twitch cancel freeze. Yay. Get up. kinds of crazy stuff happens. I don't even know the brutalities in this. Round one fight. Oops. Double teleport anytime freeze. Which allows you to get another one. And if he's too close, he gets hit. Jump at him, he'll teleport. Well, if he doesn't do the low the low recovery. slide on everyone, some characters standing high kick, standing low kick. Cancel. Full combo. He was blockable there, but that's good enough. 50% of what's up. is a little bit annoying because sub cannot combo him. 
Um, so you can't keep the rhythm going with jumping attacks into blocked hits until he stops blocking. So that is uh, useless. So you just gotta try to fight him. Easier said than done. Scorpion is super boring. Scorpion. You will never win. Round one. Fight. So, Scorpion has some pretty low damage basic combos. Um, but you can get some decent juggles with him. I'm to wait to the next character probably. That was a little bit late there, but that toe tap is unblockable in the corner. Or I shouldn't say in the corner, but she's unblockable in the situation. In 1.1, he was a little bit better against the CPU, because the jump back teleport punch was a uh, free spear afterwards. They changed that in this, I don't know why. I was gonna. I was just saying. I was just, should I glitch it? Nah. 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 Shang Tsung. Just annoying. You can spear him because I think he just can't duck it uh, fast enough. A little 22 percent or whatever. Yeah. Nah, I got the results there. Where you can get Shang Tsung to jump. Shang was my main in MK3. I don't know why. Yeah, Scorpion is super, super boring. Just basic strategies. Let's try and get him to around a little bit. Overcut only hits at a, like a sweeps range because usually they'll run in and throw you or they'll uppercut you first. Well done. Oh, shit, so, you know, 
stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Wow. Oh, jeez. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So that's over 50 for Scorpion. That's very rare that you ever see him get that. Um, especially not in that kind of setup. But, uh, off a of punish, perhaps. Uh, from teleport. Fight! Not much difference damage, there's like 40%. There you go. Oh, I haven't delayed that. I remember thinking that was really cool uh, as a teenager, and uh, and now uh, it doesn't hold up. Cool, that's sort of all over the place. Doesn't matter, his life's gone, so. Round two. Fight. Jesus. He just he's ridiculous. Yeah, once you realize just how easy the computer is to be in these games, it's like, just go find somebody to play. But using the keep your timings down is good. Well done. Range positioning. Round two. Fight. That's right, she tries to leg grab you if you teleport in the spear. So you can get her with that every time. Oh, yeah, that was too slow. But I'll make her jump with me. That was the first punish I ever did in this game. Punch, spear, for a combo. First time I picked the character. I was like 14. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I did it again. I really... I gotta remember not to do that. I think because I'm like holding the button between the round. It's alright, Scorpion is boring anyway, so... Fight! why that works against her, because she's automatically in her uh, projectile sensibility. It does. Alright, Drew Man, have a good night. Malate. Jesus Christ. Jade wins. And the Malate. Alright. Let's try another character. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. Classic sub. Give him a shot. 
kind of getting into the more boring characters. There's only a couple left anyway. Like Kano. You will never win. Round one. Fight! Kano Jade Katana. Something like that. He has a lot of recovery off of his uppercut for a launcher. So, you can't really get always a, an optimal combo. I can never remember what that kick combo is either. It's like forward. There it is. <laughs> Slow free startup. And I'm gonna stop you. That's just, that's just the way it is. And that's the way it is. Yeah, 
see look at how fast you recover it. You should definitely be able to get that. Instead, go for something like this. I'm screwed up, of course. Round two, fight! Just walk right over. You know, wrestling we call that no selling. <laughs> I don't know what his other personality is. Wins. But I know uh, Drew made a very nice uh, secondary fatality for him. Uh, with the ice spike. Very clever way of doing it using some, I think, background graphics, I want to say. Sub Zero wins. A little effort you can get another punch in there. Fight. And you get the slide. I think there's any way to get that on the male ninjas without it being blockable, but I could be wrong. Striker very similar to Sub Zero for juggling purposes. I did that upward jump punch there to get the full, full promise of the combo. And I missed it, of course. Don't worry, he'll give me plenty more chances. Jesus. Let's see over something better here. Come on. I missed the slide, of course. Yeah, you always want to break 40% with him if you can. I mean, you want to break 40% with any character if possible, but... Not always possible. Finish it. Well, Sub-Zero wins. Round one. Fight! Nightwolf, you can kind of 
take your chances ducking. Cause he'll usually just whiff his attacks. Um, but then sometimes he'll hit you with a combo. And then he just walks away. to relaunch Night Wolf with him. Round three, fight! Jericho back again. What's up, man? Like I said, pretty boring play with this. I mean, you can do a little bit else, but when you got endurance coming, you just gotta be careful. There's new Saba. Doesn't have any specials, so he's just gonna keep attacking. No fatality. Doing alright. Just hanging out. Alright, I'm gonna take a little break, but I will be right back.
Donna. Jade. Yeah, hopefully we'll be alright. I mean, that is several months away now. Um, as long as everything doesn't go completely horrible. That would sound kind of selfish, but... <clears throat> I think life must go on at some point. Here we go! Alright, we'll do Katana. I think I only have Jade and Kano left. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's about it. Katana is kind of fun. It's a CPU. Just make him jump at you and do jolo combos. Try to get him in the corner. Get the fans to get over projectiles. A little more maneuverability with wave punch. <laughs> Fight! 
fight. side with the instant air fan. Round one, fight. Ooh. I guess I'm not too good from that side either. Why it just happens to be all the female ninjas in the game, but female you know, ninjas, female characters in the game. Because uh, it's literally by like pixels, so it's got to be by chance. Just out of that throw range there. You 
Barstool. Fight! <laughs> Sweep has to be pretty much done to the frame. <clears throat> well, I shouldn't say really. It's not so much that it's done to the frame, but the input I think gets picked up within this small window that makes it happen uh, right when it should. Oops. Really plus on the throw, he can jump before he can land. Fight. See, he got him. Got him. I think this was elite. Somebody else. Here we go. Mm. Now with the Jade. Jade. You will never win. Jade I find to be a very boring character and never really got into her. But some people like her. Fight. Where's she having her? Projectile invincibility, which is very useful. You can also do a ducking. Uh, similar to Katana, she can get a free sweep after her little four hit combo, four hit uh, staff combo. So, so actually, the first, uh, that was the toe tap. First person I saw do that was uh, a guy by the he goes by the name of uh, Rob uh, or Sickly I should say his name is Rob. Um, he would use that uh, constantly because Jade one of his main was one of his mains. And I thought that was awesome. Then I discovered you could do a sweep, which does more damage. Um, and that winds up becoming a stable to give her a little bit more damage. Whoops. Can't get that to combo. There you go. Has almost the exact same timing as Katana's. If not the exact same. Round one. Fight. Jesus Christ. We're starting this. That's getting that is getting intolerable. I still don't know what button I'm holding to make that happen either. I gotta talk to Drew because it shouldn't just be one button. If it is. Round one. Fight. Alright. So. 
Kang's fireballs. Neutralized by the invis invincibility. That is not a legit combo at the end there, but it works as a computer. Wins. Round two. Fight! Something I like using against people is doing the invincibility, but starting it with back back, so that I can just do the um, boomerang, the instant that the invincibility comes out. So it's like back back forward, high kick, low punch, or um. Uh, but it definitely throws people off. Uh, it's also sometimes used it with the uh, dash kick, which is a little bit more. I did not hold any button there. I definitely did not. I was not holding anything. Sweep any character. You can ducking kick most characters. Some characters you can just standing low kick or standing high kick after a four hit. Uh, it's just an easy way to add a little more damage because she doesn't have too much mid screen damage. Her seven hit combo has got a weird damage bug to it. Not holding any buttons. Jesus, instant punish. No punish. Whoa! Some psychic Jedi shit. I don't like to talk about Star Wars. Jedi smoke. Son of a bitch. Round two. Fight. Robot ninja you should get a standing at least a standing course if I can actually do the combo. That's pretty good damage right there. I'd like to do the low boomerang, gets him off my screen. I'm not holding any buttons. Of course, you can't do the return boomerang, which would be a boomerang. It's actually not really even a boomerang, it's definitely some kind of ninja slur uh, that just comes back. Yeah, 39% there. Then against like Shiva, I think maybe Jax, Sub Zero, you can get a standing high kick, I think. Which puts her at 40. It's 
So a better punish, it would be like punch, punch. Um, sorry, try again, but she doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't have a little better. You probably do a jump kick instead, a little more. Maybe like 28 or something like that. Oh, I love playing on the bank stage. I, I was always weird to not have it in UMK3 because you didn't realize that there was, you know, either we figure either budget or deadlines or whatever where they couldn't use more memory. Um, it would have been nice if they would have just added memory to the game rather than replacing because um, then they could have kept everything and just added the new, the new stuff. But, um, yeah, the bank is uh, welcomed back into our hearts. There it is, standing high kicks. The jump kick is a little more. Standing high kick connecting might have something to do with frame advantage too. Because um, I know it does whiff even though it feels like I'm doing the right timing. Oh, she went into uh, she went to brutality there. Round one. Fight. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um definitely makes you know, this game seem like it's it's worth you know people still putting time into because we can add to it um, eventually I think the game is going to be very um, very interesting to look at um, if we add some, maybe some basic effects that are present in the current games um, which obviously people love the um, brutalities as they exist in like MK10 uh, and um, 11 And I always have to point out that when I say we, I mean like, I, I'm just like friends with the people who work on this. A few different hacks that are out right now, there's like three, I guess three that are currently in uh, some level of activity. Maybe four? Yeah. Yeah, you never know. I mean, unfortunate situation where some people is losing their jobs, and um, some businesses cannot withstand being closed for a. Um, I mean, what could be a month, even maybe two months. You know, it sucks. Um, and to say it sucks is like insulting. Oops. He's really just, I mean, done a masterful job. Um, uh, also, I, 
always have to give credit to uh, Conqueror, who really got the ball rolling for the hack game. I mean, we knew there was um, there were a couple couple little minor hacks to get Noob Cybot and Human Smoke selectable, the Juggernaut hack, and then there was the Zeus hack. Uh, I believe before that, um, just very basic, you know, character additions, not too much other stuff. Uh, and then he just started going nuts on MK2, uh, and then eventually MK3 after he had two to a, a point of satisfaction, because we really like to rebalance the games to make them a little, you know, a little more um, accessible to, to newer players, because there's just some stuff in these games that nobody's ever going to play them because of it, so... I really just cheesed him out there. Round one, fight. Ooh, he snuck out. Get out of here. <laughs> it's always worth it. Freak. See, that, that combo does no damage. Gotta stick with that. back there. Didn't make any contact so I couldn't push. I think 
think I got Kano left. I don't know if there's anybody else. everyone. Basically hit like a third of the cast every night so far. Or I should say in each uh, round that it does because I did like four hours last night. It's two hours right now. 210 LG, what is up? Alright, so... Kano's got a bunch of relaunch options against Robot Smoke. <clears throat> um, you can just try to. I think he actually might get hit by the teleport if you just jump at him. Actually, he might not even do it on the first one. So we'll just. Yes. Shit. Kano's got all kinds of little free hit type stuff. You can do sweeps to uh, backbreaker similar to Jax. But again, you gotta get, I think, to the higher grade the levels here before they really start following the rules, so to speak. But yeah, can yeah, Kano is, uh, Kano's a lot of fun. Punish anything. I will just like not playing your game today, buddy. Oh, okay. Kano's uppercut sucks for cross ups. Round two. Fight. I have been really, really asking them to start adding MK2 characters. I was talking a little bit about it last night. That It seems like MK2 characters are possible. It's just the limits of being able to program them all. Maybe um, the biggest hurdle. <coughs> it really all depends on what the uh, limit is for each memory bank for the RAM, uh, RAM the ROMs. Um, and if you can just put you know, the maximum size ROM in every bank, then there shouldn't be a problem. But it's also just a lot of work. I think we'll see it one day. Shit. 
Oh my god. I can hold my rock, you know. Yeah, I always figured Johnny Cage would be the first one if we really, you know, figure out an easy way to import the programming. Um, but the graphics should not be a problem so far as I know. It's just a matter of telling the game where they are. I just like to see something as basic as just get, like, the stance of the character to, to display on the selection screen. And then, like, freak everybody out. Well done. Trilogy cage. I don't know. People prefer the MK2 cage. I mean, I would love to see even the MK1 characters. <clears throat> I don't care how they look. Crazy there. Wins. Round two. Fight. So, no, trilogy cages is so bland. See, he, he doesn't have the low blow. Uh, he has like very awkward, like non-athletic looking movements. They literally just like got anybody in there. They're like, yeah, you kind of look like Johnny Cage. You play Johnny Cage. Oh, absolutely. Um, if the day comes where we start adding characters, I would, I would definitely encourage the, um, uh, like maybe like hitting start on the character or something, and then it'll, it'll change it to a different version. I'm sure that's, uh, I'm sure that's possible. So, we'll see. See, there's the full damage.
plop, 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 plop. Round one, fight! <laughs> Get off my screen. Two hits, 78%. Ridiculous. Basically what it did was it stored all the damage for the previous combo. <laughs> uh, at full, unscaled damage. Come on, give me a teleport punch. One big happy family right here. Jeez, that's 49. That is crazy. It should not be 49%, but hey. Jesus. Yeah, you just can't cross up jump kick for shit. Round two. Fight! That's not reading throw damage right. There's no way. His throw does less damage than everybody's. Shit. Oh, god damn it. Alright. 
That was a decent run tonight. Two hours is good enough. So, um, all right. Um, maybe next time I will just do some combo demos with uh, certain characters. Try to explain exactly like how to do them right. Um, take advantage of the system in the game. Uh, a lot of people don't know about. Um, and uh, that's about it. <clears throat> Let's see. And uh, yeah, hopefully again, hopefully everything will be all right. And in July, you can come to our tournament. It's going to be MKNJ and Combat Network joining forces, putting together our resources, and making a really, I mean, trying to make like a major MK event where it's just MK. Um, so it's like, it feels like you're going to a major where there's like a whole bunch of other games going on. You're in the MK section, but there's nothing else. Just MK. But we're going to have everything. We're going to drive all the old school games. We're going to have the PS2 era games. We're going to have, you know, Injustice, MK9, stuff like that. We're going to, you know, try to put everything together. Get as many setups as we can. Try to get like, you know, between 100 and 150 people. <clears throat> um, so... This is going to be first run, and then if it goes well, we'll try to do another one and, you know, make it a little crazier. Maybe get some guests, you know, do some booths, things like that. Um, but uh, it should be fun, and uh, we'll have two streams. It'll be on Darth Arma and on uh, um, the stream, Combat Network. Uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll probably want to do mostly MK11 on Darth Arma, and maybe... I don't know if if we lead into the MK11 tournament by doing like uh, Injustice 2 or Injustice 1 or something like that. Maybe we'll do that on his. But then everything else will probably be on ours because it's not going to be a lot, whole lot of entrance. Um, so we can squeeze in like top fours. Um, you know, maybe run MK1, 2, and Ultimate. You know, try Trilogy if uh, anybody wants to play that. We gotta find a better way to run it. <clears throat> and then uh, of course like Armageddon or Deadly Alliance or something like that. I'm sure people want to play. And uh, we'll just t start taking some polls and see, you know, in the pre-reg, too, um, what games people sign up for. So, um, other than that, all right, uh, it was fun again. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys, guys again soon, um, maybe later in the week. Um, so that'll, that'll do it. Alright, thank you guys for watching.